Hello, and welcome to the Harmonicon Project. The circle of fifths is fundamental to understanding music theory. But before we begin this lesson, let's briefly review intervals and inversions for the perfect fifth and perfect fourth. First, I'll make a perfect fifth on the Harmonicon. Here I've made a perfect fifth interval, with C as the root and G one perfect fifth above. The green line and arc illustrate the C perfect fifth, while the red arc on the opposite side of the circle shows its inversion, which is the G perfect fourth. Here I've made a G perfect fourth to demonstrate clearly that a C perfect fifth inverts to a G perfect fourth and vice versa. Both intervals, the C perfect fifth and the G perfect fourth, are made of the same two notes, C and G. Only the order changes with inversion. As you can see and hear when we swap these intervals on the harmonicon, the C perfect fifth sounds harmonically the same as the G perfect fourth and vice versa. This is the beauty and nature of inversions. The intervals can be used interchangeably. OK, with this knowledge, we can now proceed with learning the circle of fifths, as the sequence is most commonly named. Now I'll go to the Learn menu and select Circle of Fifths Ascending from under Sequences. Let's change the tempo to 30 beats per minute and play it again, but this time paying close attention to the sequence of intervals, fifths up and fourths down as the lines crisscross on the circle. The circle of fifths is the only sequence of equivalent intervals and inversions that will result in a full chromatic scale, that is except for a sequence of 12 semitones. The circle of fifths is a tone row, or a sequence that uses all 12 notes without repeat, except for the octave. I'll select the circle of fifths again from the Learn menu, but this time descending with fifths down and fourths up. The circle of fifths is often used as a method for teaching students the number of sharps or flats in the various keys, but we'll leave that for a future video. Knowledge of the circle of fifths is critical for improvisation and essential for ear training. I recommend that you play the circle of fifths, ascending and descending on the harmonicon, with your instrument in hand. I also recommend singing the sequences until they become familiar to your ear. Until next time, have a great day.